Oh, they're playing our song, guys. <laughs> Time to check in on the games at every Summer Olympics. The gymnastics competition becomes a national obsession. 2012, no exception already, with one American upsetting another to claim a spot in the all-around competition. ESPN's Julie Foudy, our good friend, is joining us from London with more on the Fab Five of Team USA. This has been already such drama, Julie. Good morning. So much drama, and this is not how things were supposed to go, Robin, as you know, and especially with this close-knit American team. They will attempt to rebound and refocus as they have one goal in mind, and that's to bring home the gold. This is what heartbreak looks like. Jordan Weber crumbling the moment she realized that despite her world championship, despite her medal dreams, she would not be competing for the individual all-around title. Instead, she'll have to watch her two teammates, Allie Raisman and Gabby Douglas, go for the gold. 18-year-old team captain Allie Raisman shocked sports fans and herself by claiming the top American score and second place overall with her flawless floor routine. Right behind her in third place, 16-year-old Gabby Douglas. Codename, the Flying Squirrel. And you can see why. The girl with the gazillion watt smile who has graced the cover of Time Magazine has serious gumption. But all is not lost for Jordan Weber. She and the rest of the fabulous five can still go for the team goal. 15 years old, Kyla Ross is the youngest member of the team. Her graceful and fluid routines are expected to grab high scores. Rounding out the fabulous five, 16-year-old world vault champion Michaela Maroney. Maroney is nursing a broken toe. She isn't going to let broken bones keep her from the chance to go gold. The U.S. women's team has not won gold since the first Americans did it in the 1996 Olympics, and they are desperately hoping to be back on top of that podium.